today is a, I don't even know, guy. I don't, yo, I don't even know, all right? We are, there, there ain't no way to not say it, so I'm just gonna say it. We are going to Granger Smith's music video shoot right now. Uh, from what I've heard through the grapevine, through what I'm doing and what other people are doing, uh, Lunkers TV will be there, Demolition Matt, uh, I heard Outlaw, I don't know, uh, Tyler's Real Fishing just said that LFG actually replaced him, so, I don't know, there's gonna be a lot of people there, I'm going with Last Shadow, um, we are, I gotta go meet them at the hangar and then we're gonna fly there in the chopper, so y'all be ready for some of that footage, but, yeah, I might give you a little tour around the hangar or something when we get there. But yeah, we're going to a music video shoot. Weird. And odd enough is, I like some of Granger Smith's music. And I've laughed at a lot of his Earl Dibbles Jr. videos in high school, a long time ago. So, that's cool. But hopefully get to meet, see some cool people and whatnot. I don't know. I don't know. Last Shadow is going to do like a helicopter scene. We're going to like fly in and do something. I don't know. I don't know what we're doing. I don't even know what the shoot is supposed to be like. Uh, Nasty Trucks Nation had said something. He had posted like, hey, if anybody near the Austin area is going to be around during this date and you have a nice truck, like let me know. And I, my truck didn't fit the, uh, the wanted style, I guess you could say. But I still, I'm still managing to go, so it's all right. Should be a fun day, guys. We'll see. I don't know how much I can record. A bunch of YouTubers will be there, so I'm gonna assume that I can record. Uh, but you just, you just never know. So we'll just see. This is extremely random, right? But my silver truck, my silver Chevy, right? Uh, not the white one, the one before that. Me and my dad, he was in a different vehicle, I was in mine. We were driving one day, and you would not believe it, but my alternator, my alternator went out right here next to this pond. Literally, there's this little like road thing right here. Look at that, right there. Right next to those ponds, my alternator went out, and we drove back into town, and we just, we grabbed an alternator and one of those, we already had one of those little like wrench alternator exchanger outer thingies. And uh, yeah, on the side of the road, we changed my alternator. And actually, we had like the warranty with whoever, I forgot where it was. My truck would eat alternators probably once every like two or three months. So we got so, I say, I say we, he did, was like the main orchestrator of, of the work on it with the alternator but I mean this was like five or six years ago we got so accustomed to changing the alternator we just kept all the tools with us we're like oh man alternators out you know swap it out put the new one in just like that and it's just funny that I'm 1.2 miles away from the uh, the airport and the hangar and I, every time I every time I come here to last shadow and the, the hangar to see everybody to fly and whatever and shut up I'm filming a video every time I drive over here I pass that and it just reminds me of like no air conditioning in that truck uh, super loud nitto mud grapplers just all these like memories come back all the mudding and all that and it's it's good it's good but yeah we are pulling up right now she cleared out the hangar this is one beautiful aircraft
I think all around, top five those players, you just got to be there. And when you came here, you joked that you came from Ron Adams. Um, about me. Beer and energy drinks. Wasn't too bad. The horde's louder than that. Yes. Horn blasters, bro. I still want to pull one of those. that cracked me up on the hut. like, ah, it's too cold. I'm leaving. He got on all those pigs afterwards. I haven't really talked to him since then. I'll talk to him. trucks out here and the favorite obviously got Evan over there oh, shoot some more over there Still shooting? Crazy. Got an outlaw's ride. Yeah, it's definitely a lot colder than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. Really turned the helicopter on. Not as safe as I thought it would be. <laughs> What was that jet turbine heater going into the cockpit of that helicopter? Yeah, they got a bunch of... 
bunch of everything going on here. We've got Evan Stokes. Somebody's gonna run me over. Yeah. I wonder. I wonder how Evan got the invite. I wonder how lots of these guys got the invite. The old 2003 SEMA build. Not too bad. Sure as hell beats going to school today. Had a quiz, you know, that I can't make up. Eh, why not? I know, right? I'm working today, totally. About to go watch some world strongest man pull a semi, hopefully by his nipples. Only, only then would it be impressive, right? Walking backwards with, with the nipples, and yeah. Tie around his balls, yeah. Just that way. Gigantic ball sack wrap. Yee, yee, brother. Dude, they literally just have anything you could think of out here right now. Trucks, monster trucks, side by sides, boats. Dale's Brisbane. We got. We got Boone over there, Dale Brisby's horse. Literally anything you think of. Whose truck is this? That's Stokes. Man. Ah, oh, no, dude, nothing. Nothing touches the, the, the chopper, my man. But it looks good, without a doubt. Even behind it? Semi truck's about to be pulled by not the but a world strongest man. I think he holds some sort of world titles or something like that. Yeah. So that'll be interesting. <laughs> He's having a really bad luck today, right? Split the side by side. So, yeah! So strong he broke the strap. This is way bigger than the one we pulled. I don't know if I got that. Yeah, yeah. That's how it's done. I don't know what you're done. And now I'm freezing. Food, food looks good. Yeah. Wait, are you seriously doing that right now? Hell yeah. You are such a woman. I am. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. It's not falling apart. And just like that guys, it is dark outside and uh, I'm heading home. Thanks for watching, you know, kind of a little behind the scenes footage of uh, Granger Smith's uh, YouTube video, a bunch of driving ATVs and trucks. I mean, anything you think of, guys ripping around on dirt bikes, blowing stuff, blowing Tannerite up, you know, uh, it was a really good move by him, bringing a lot of like big YouTubers and uh, personalities out. It was pretty cool, you know. Demolition Matt was there, uh, Lunkers TV, who else? Outlaw LFG, you know. Dale Brisby was out there. Uh, his hat was on backwards, by the way. Um, what else? Who else was out there? Chad Prather was out there. He was really cool to talk to. Um, 
I forgot the guy's name. Uh, he wrote a book. He's always in demolition videos, uh, Reaper 33 or something like that. Uh, he was out there. Just a bunch of people. A bunch and a bunch of people, man. It was a good time. Had some subpar barbecue, but it was free. It was free, you know. Uh, the helicopter scene was pretty cool. So whenever y'all watch that music video, eventually, whenever the helicopter flies over, uh, I was I was in that. I'm sure I'll be in some of those guys' videos. You know, Steven was filming uh, a lot whenever me and Lunkers and uh, my buddy Zach were all talking. So you know, maybe maybe I'll be snuck into some footage in there. If you see the the uh, the old red and black plaid and you see me in some videos. Let me know because I want to see it. You know what I mean? So no matter who it is, whether it's LFG Outlaw, you know, Lunkers, Matt, any of those guys, if you see me in any of those videos, let me know. Screenshot it, send it to me because that'd be really cool. Uh, it, was, it was really, it, it was fun to be around those guys again. It's been a little little while since I've got to talk to a few of them and see them. Uh, I can't wait to be part of that crowd. You know what I mean? I didn't go all like fangirl, like want to take pictures and all that. You know, I was just like, yeah, like, what's up? Talking to him. Asked, what's his name? Outlaw about his truck and some other things. Asked Lunkers about his truck. Funny, he bought his, the exact same truck as mine from Moritz Chevrolet. Same place I bought it. So apparently they're slinging out some good deals up there if any of y'all want to check them out. But talked about trucks, talked about guns and hunting and helicopter stuff. Man, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Skipped class today for it. But... I hope I'm I hope I'm in somebody's video you know if I can sneak in there you know what I'm saying wouldn't be wouldn't be too bad but I don't know how this video is gonna be edited or anything uh, I got a new thermal coming in so I'm gonna have to cite that in uh, I'm gonna have to shoot the 224 again confirm some zeros on some things and uh, so there'll be a, a thermal hunting thermal like hog hunting video uh, after another uh, range vlog that type of thing me and my buddy Taylor are gonna go out and shoot some shiz he's gonna bring some guns some pistols <sighs> i'm gonna bring some stuff we're just gonna go and shoot everything i mean why not so if y'all like y'all actually y'all watched and y'all like the the other range video uh i hope y'all like uh the next one as well but that's gonna be the end of this one guys be sure to subscribe 5200 subs guys the last video it went viral somehow. I don't know what happened, but I was playing Xbox and I was sitting there and I refreshed and the video went up over a thousand views. I was like, yo, whoa, whoa, whoa. I was like, what the, what just happened? Played another game on Fortnite, you know what I'm saying? Twitch.tv slash Chris French. Played another game, refreshed, it was up another thousand views and like five or like 50 subs, right? And I was like, yo, what in the world? And I I the whole time I was playing and streaming, the video gained over 10,000 views, and I gained like 500 subs that night. Man, it was the the most growth on one single video, and growth of the channel in one one small section of time. It was the coolest thing ever, man. I can only imagine what it'll be like one day to upload a video and then get a hundred thousand views on it. Like it's it's so it. My, my channel's gained a thousand subs in the past 30 days and I only have 5,000 total. So a fifth of my subs have come in the past, literally the past month. Like that's, that's just mind blowing. It literally is, like, I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't believe what I was watching. I was texting my girlfriend. She was asleep and I was like, I was like 7,000 views. Holy crap. 8,000 views, 9,000 views, 10,000, 15,000 views the whole time. Like I just, I don't know. It was crazy, guys. If you subscribed from the off-roading video, let me know in the comments section, guys. Let me know. There was a bunch of people who, one, said my hat was backwards, and uh, here's my hat backwards. Here it is forwards. There was a bunch of people saying my hat was backwards, which was funny. A lot of people said, "What? Why didn't you use your tail hooks?" Me, 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 you in four low. No, I was in four high when I was pulling them out. Like, come on, you yee yees. No, I'm not gonna attach metal hooks in a strap that's not made to be used. <sighs> that's not made to be used to yank people. Like, it just, all the internet gurus and all that stuff came out in that video. And you could tell, like, people, people are just dumb and they don't know anything. 
and they're like, oh man, like, I know how to mode, yee yee, brother, you ain't no country boy, yee yee yee, and I'm like, what's a, what's, what's, what's a kinetic strap, what, what's a static strap, what, why, why would you not use chains? Chains are like one of the most dangerous recovery items you can use because whenever you pull, especially if you're yanking on it, like these guys said I should have, and it goes, do you know how many small and large metal projectiles are flying everywhere that can kill you? Do you know how many there are? A hell of a lot more than in a strap that is literally only supposed to be used for towing. So that's you, you pull it, it gets tight and you pull, right? Not anything that you're supposed to be yanking on. Like, I don't know. I'm going to do a full video roasting y'all freaking yees and it's going to be great guys. I got some funny videos coming out. I, I'm literally going to go to a custom hat shop and get them to explain how y'all are a bunch of idiots. Anybody who watches this that says my hat was backwards. I'm going to order some legitimate recovery gear because one, everybody should have it, and two, I didn't have it, so I had to buy what I could, and for 20 bucks at Walmart, I bought something that did the job because my buddy was stuck for almost five hours out there, so, I mean, I don't know. Y'all are crazy, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. 5,200 subs. Go ahead and, and drop a like, drop a comment, guys. What kind of content do y'all wanna see? If y'all wanna see more off-roading content, you have to leave it in the comments. Say, I want to see this truck get stuck, get buried, get ripped out, get pulled out by a tractor, something like that, guys. Anything y'all want, leave it in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, guys. I got an hour and a half drive back. Skip school, skip class. It was completely worth it. Don't miss opportunities like this that will never, that might never happen again because of something dumb, and by dumb I mean school. Like I skipped school for this and it was completely worth it, guys. But school is a whole nother video. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Peace out, be sure to subscribe.